What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I'll be covering something super quick and also super annoying if you don't know how to get rid of it and or you want it gone. So if we have a look inside of our file explorer, we can see Creative Cloud Files which is not in quick access and it's not in our computer. Dragging it just makes a shortcut and if we right click to go to properties or anything like that, we'll see that we can't edit what it's called or remove it in any other way. So of course this is quite confusing because I don't want this thing here anymore. I don't use the Creative Cloud Sync. So in order to get rid of it, you might be taken to the official Adobe website where you're presented with this and a download link for pinccf.zip. If you follow the instructions on the page, unpin, run it, yes, yes, okay. We can see that it's still pinned there. Now, of course, this didn't work for some unknown reason, and if that's the and if that's the case, don't worry. It's very easy to fix, and that's just by hitting Start R, typing in REG Edit Registry Editor, hit Yes when prompted, H key classes root, expand that, and now simply just type in CLSID without clicking anything else, and it'll be taken to the section down here. You can expand it and you'll see that you've got a ton of random names in here. Now, of course, we're not going to have to look through this manually. Simply hit Control F, making sure that CLS ID is selected and type in Creative Cloud Files. Hit Enter to search and you'll be taken to a value somewhere down on the list. And inside of it, you'll see Default, Sort Order Index and System.isPin to Namespace Tree. Now all we need to do is double click on this last one, system is pinned to namespace trim, and set that to zero instead of one. As soon as we hit enter, you'll notice that the creative cloud icon disappears. The folder is not physically deleted from your computer, but it's unpinned from this annoying location. If you'd like to get it back, simply double click and type in a one instead. But I'd prefer not to have it, so I'll leave it as zero. And then you can go ahead and close out of that and delete the registry thing you downloaded from the site because that didn't work. Anyways, I hope this helped you guys. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like it and leave a comment down below for anything else you'd like me to cover. My name's been Technobo, here for Troubleshoots, and I'll catch you on the internet. Ciao.